Three, two, one, you got this. Now, yes, yes. You're about to blow under the bridge. <laughs> That's Aubrey's ocean dance right there. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, I always say, everything always works out. This is one of those situations that, oh, it just seemed like it was no big deal. We we're just gonna pull forward so we could get a better backup. Before you know it, you're slipping and sliding. We're in Monte Verde, Costa Rica, which is up in the mountains, nice little rainforest. And Fun little fact about this place. Yeah. It is the rainforest and the highest altitude in the entire world. Cute girls back in black. Whoop. That's me. So we're gonna go on a little hike through the cloud forest. We're gonna be able to look down on it. Hopefully we're gonna see some wildlife. Hopefully we're gonna see some toucans. Hopefully we're gonna see some howler monkeys. And sloths. Oh, true, and sloths, I really want to see a sloth! <laughs> That's my personal goal. <laughs> we did a hike in this rainforest the other day, and we saw, what did we all see? We saw toucans. Uh -huh. We saw a ton of birds. We saw quetzals. I, don't, <laughs> I might be getting that terribly wrong. <laughs> so, psh, we've seen all the birds, man. We don't need no more of that. What we do need is sloths in our life, because we've been seeing a lot of monkeys, and so far, zero sloths. That's and true. I've heard sloths are vicious. That's why I want to see them. <laughs> Everyone that has hung out with sloths says they're not the cute and colorful creatures that you think. They are freaking vicious. And if you go for their food, they'll try to chomp your little fingers off. But they're like slowly vicious, right? Right. So I can just imagine a sloth just like being incredibly angry at me and just slowly coming <laughs> at me. I feel like that would just be like funny and terrifying. Too, so. Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Everything is a very similar shade of green here except for my turtle-backed baby. If I was a monkey, I saw this tree. Like, oh, wow. this one? No, th this big one. Yeah. Look at this. There'd be no reason to ever leave that tree. That's you know true. What I mean? First hanging bridge of many. We are just on top of the forest right now, huh? Also, we're up in bird territory. Look at this, I guarantee you there's some incredible bird just looking at us right now. Those guys? Yeah. Like that has That's to what be... princesses get fanned with. That's true. This view is unbelievable. It's a crazy raisin, man. Look at that. And we are way the frick up here. That's a tall ass tree, man. Yeah, true. Honestly, I wonder where the ground is because there's so much vegetation. Vegetation, it's hard That's to tell. true. That's true. That's the depth of the ground right there. It's somewhere down there. We jumped off the bridge. Whoa. We would just like <laughs> land in a soft bed of <laughs> soft pillow of gigantic ten foot leaves. <laughs> Here's some. Is that monkeys? Well, sometimes I hear sounds and it's really hard to tell if it's like a wild animal or humans. Sometimes humans are just like real excited to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Holler monkeys. Holler right. monkeys are a little more guttural than that. That's, that's true. Holler that's Holler monkey. Homo sapiens are pretty goofy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not intimidating at all, at least in this current Let's stage go. of our evolution. Let's see if we can spot a Homo sapien in its natural habitat. A howler Homo sapien? Howling Homo sapien. <laughs> Do you hear a howling Homo sapien? Just heard one. Let's see if we can catch it. There he is. Where? See him? Right oh, there. there he is. Howling away. Howling away. I just found this leaf that was already broken off. So I think I'm just gonna keep this so you can fan me. Really? Here, want here, why don't you try it out? You feel that or no? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit? There you go. 
And you know wow. what, the, I feel like when I picture Egyptians doing it, I picture really long sticks, like, the yeah. thing, and they're just like... True. Getting real in there. Getting real really down and dirty. Yeah. I think Egyptians just had a lot of weird jobs in general. Like, they had the, the guy that tastes the pharaoh's food before he eats true, it to true. make sure that they don't have poison. It was a big job. It was a huge big job. job. I would totally sign up for that. <laughs> Get free food. Oh, I would totally risk being poisoned. I don't I don't care one single bit. <laughs> Son, is that you? <laughs> Hello, old friend. We missed you. Wow. I'm telling you, I grew up hanging out with the sun every day of my life until I was like 20 years old in Austin, Texas. I never realized there are places where it rained every single day. <laughs> oh. Soak in the little tiny precious moments of sun. Time to pass. I hope our solar panels are enjoying the sun. <laughs> I hope so too. This boy is going so slow because he's sure there's, there's birds, birds everywhere. to see every single what place. What if there's like the most, inc I mean we saw some good birds last night. Right. I've already seen a bunch more birds than I would. Even look at like you would have missed this. There's a little orange tree right here and that's like grapes or something on that tree. Dang. Right? Over there? Yeah. Way cooler than you ever expected. And if we were cruising by... Well, I'm not saying we should that? cruise, but you're basically just standing in one spot for like 10 minutes. Uh, it's, it's a short walk, man. Slowly slow. turning. You know those like statues that just oh slowly turn? That's you. Usually, <laughs> well, our, our normal walk is like... <laughs> kish, 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 kish. <laughs> I'm always hustling to keep up with it. Today, we're going at my speed. Alright. <laughs> Bless you. That's what I'd say about that. This view is so mind blowing. It forces the sneeze out of you. <laughs> There's definitely Mowgli is out here somewhere. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Swinging around. Having a great time. Dun da da da. Forward. <laughs> Forward. Let's go. <laughs> Dang. This view is wild. Literally. It's what I call some lush brush. Love that. Lush brush all around the sun. <laughs> <laughs> where are the birds? Where are the monks? Where are the sloths? And where are the toucans? Where are the parrots? Where are the frogs? Where are all the animals in this jungle? Well, my little friendos, Fortunately, we did not see any frondos in the rainforest, but you know what? That's okay, we're staying positive. And we're going to a spot that we found on iOverlander that says there might be howler monkeys. So we still have a chance to see some animal wildlife. Maybe there's like an opening. This is a crazy yeah, tight little road. Not an opening. Oh. This is it. Yeah, this is it. Whoa, oh, dang. Unbelievable view. You're probably right. We probably should try to turn around if we can. No, not turn around. Literally just back, back down. Is yeah. that insane? That's <laughs> insane. Uh oh. I don't know what I ran into there. Yeah, there's like a little muddy patch there, I think. Um, all right. Do you want to do like a 10 million point turn with me? <laughs> yeah. What is the best angle for this? Hold on. You got, I think you're going to have to get out and direct me to back out. Because to I back just out? don't think that there's room to do a okay. turn around here. Huge problem, huh? Huge problem. You okay? Yeah. Stressed out of your mind? Oh me oh my. So we are slipping on this mud and we do not look sunk in at all. But these are the tracks of what's been going on. And we've been slipping in stuff like this and the van is just stuck. We've been trying to rock it, do all sorts of stuff for like half an hour now. The spot is amazing. So you just got this unbelievable view. And this is where we were trying to park right here just to get this view. But then, we started slipping down, slipping down, slipping down, and now we're stuck 
And it's just so frustrating because it looks like we should be able to get out. But so far, no luck at all. It's starting to rain, hot and sweaty, gigantic ants everywhere. Should we go try to wave down a truck? Maybe. Why don't we do that for a few minutes? Okay. Can I have the key so I can lock everything up? Yeah. Oh no! Oh, so close, off the hand. That was my fault, that was a pretty terrible throw. Oh my gosh. This is one of those situations that, oh, it just seemed like it was no big deal. We were just gonna pull forward so we could get a better backup. Before you know it, you're slipping and sliding. Honestly, even up there we got skid marks. This soil might just be too wet to, to work with. Mm -mm -mm. All right, time to go try to flag down a truck. Let's see how we do. What are we gonna do? Well, I always say, everything always works out. So, we're right. in a beautiful place. Sure, we got the best view ever. Got the best view ever, could be worse. Could be worse. We're fairly flat, so even if we have to stay here tonight. Won't be the end of the world. Won't be we can still make our coconut curry. Exactly. Good attitude, good spirit, I love it. But you gotta make things work out, that's the difference. That's so true. let's go make things work out. I love it. Well, of all the places we've been stuck, which is a couple, this is verifiably the best view of the group, huh? That's not really true. No comparison, good grief, unbelievable. Also, another couple van lifers just came up asking if we were gonna use the spot tonight. I told them we're stuck and they didn't really have any ideas for us, so, but maybe we have a couple friends who will help us, who knows. It's now dark, as you can see. And here's the update. We have been, we didn't end up finding a guy with a, with a truck or anything. Um, we had these sweet other van lifer friends show up and uh, they were trying to help us strategize and we did make some progress. We did get probably 10 feet um, further towards our destination. But there's like one little hump we just cannot get over. Not with all of us pushing, not with... The mats, not with, you know, shoveling gravel underneath the tires, nothing. So, we're here. And still firmly believing that everything will work out. Christian is currently seeing if he can flag down somebody with a 4x4 vehicle, some kind of pickup truck or whatever. I don't think it would take that much to pull us out. Hopefully we can find somebody who will help us. We can get out of this mess. Uh, yeah. We'll see. But, again, in the meantime, not the worst place to be stuck at all. Living in a van means that we always have our home with us. So even if we're in sticky situations, we still have a bed to sleep on. We still have a cushion to cook delicious food in. <sighs> yeah. Well, hello, well, my little baby. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm pretty beat. Glad we have some friends here. That's true. So, our lovely friends. Decided they were going to go to the nearby town, like 15 minutes away, and see if they can find a truck, a 4x4 truck for yeah. us. And I offered coconut curry, obviously, and they said, well, you know what, why don't you make some dinner, and we'll go find a truck. So, that's a deal. Um, I'm going to stand up at the road and okay. see if I can flag down a truck. Alright, well then I'm going to make some coconut curry. Sounds like an incredible job for you. Wish me luck. So I hear Christian outside talking to somebody, but I don't know who it is. I wonder if he found somebody. Okay, so he did find somebody. This works. Wow. Uh, they have four wheel drive. And they're hooking up the van right now. Okay, close try the doors. To, wait, should I stay in here? Uh, yep. Okay. Keep your... Okay. We're getting there. 
We're running into this side and doing some damage for sure. Doing some damage to the car? Yeah. What kind of damage? Like that, like our bumper. Oh, really? Yeah. I think we just got it. We just get it? So close, so close, so close, so close. We are freaking. Okay. We're really close to the edge. Okay. No, we're okay. Okay? Yep, we're okay. Okay. adventure, a story, an experience. We didn't even capture really all of it. That was probably what, five hours of maybe four maybe hours? Four hours maybe. There was a cliff drop off on one side that <laughs> was the mountain. So it's like, <laughs> see you later, Christian and the van. And then on the other side was a sheer wall of rock. And we had to play it perfect because there was barely enough room for us to get down there anyway. Like in hindsight, this was a very risky move, but I feel like you just like, this is what you do for the best camping spots. That's true. So, at times, we were six inches away from the drop-off. At other times, we were literally scraping the rock wall on the other side. We have some skid marks from oh, that. But, I will say, this teaches two lessons that continue to be taught to us over and over and over. <laughs> the first lesson is, if you can afford a four-wheel drive, buy one. If you can't, do not underestimate your terrain. The second, and more widely applicable to all of your life, and not just the van lifers here, is that people are good people. They're great people everywhere, across the board. The, the percentage of people who are selfish and unwilling to help is wildly small. Like, almost non-existent. Mm -hmm. And everybody is willing to help, man. Like, the guy who pulled us out, he pulled us out with the nicest freaking car. <laughs> Like, I was so worried he was going to bang up his car. He would be the kind of guy I feel like you'd walk down the street and you'd think was probably a pretty proper, wealthy, uptight guy. Mm -hmm. But it turns out he was so willing to help. And then we had another Costa Rican family. The whole family was just standing there just watching us, cheering us on. And then we have, most importantly, our two Michigan buddies, other van lifers, who spend their entire afternoon and evening helping us too and who are being rewarded with the delicious Aubrey Curry. <laughs> so, seriously... People are good people everywhere. Things always work out, dude. They do. Even when it feels like they're not gonna. We were pretty screwed. Yeah. We have to finish out this video in the morning because we have to enjoy this view. We're not gonna take our car <laughs> down there, but we're gonna take ourselves down We've done there, so much work to enjoy this view. And we have to enjoy the view. So, let's see you in the morning. Coffee in the morning. Coffee, coffee <laughs> date in the morning. It's a date. See you then. <laughs> Look at this. Even in the rain, it's beautiful. Unbelievable. Wow. Even though we didn't get to park up here, we got to enjoy the view anyways. Could be worse. Could be worse. Still had a great time. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys for coming along. Love you.